Okay, here's a video of my truck. It's 2007 Chevy Silverado 1500. It's an 07. Um, I've actually owned it for only about three months. So I just got these wheels and tires put on here. I wanted to just give you a quick video, show you how they look, and then also show you how I cut the fender to fit the tire in there. Okay. So first off, with the tire and wheel, it's the, the, the rims are the Ultra, they're made by Ultra, they're, it's the Goliath model, okay? It's a 20 by 9, and it's got a zero offset. Okay, so I was a little skeptical how the zero offset would look, or if that was going to be too aggressive, but it actually worked out perfect. If you see, it does, it sticks out of the fender a little bit, maybe a couple, maybe a couple inches, okay, but I think it gives it the perfect look. Now the tires are the Nitto Trail Grappler. Okay, and they this is the the size is the 305 5520. These things look awesome on there. I picked up this set of wheels and tires actually used and the, the tires have about 10 to 12,000 miles on them. So they're not at the brand new height so it does give me a little additional clearance but I still will show you how I how I cut them I looked for months for the type of wheel and tire combination I wanted um, with the color of my truck I wasn't sure I, I didn't think I wanted to go black I think chrome was probably the best look for it and so let, let me let me give you an idea here. I'm going to start it up and turn the wheels and show you how it uh, clears. Also, to show you too, I, since I bought it, I actually have these uh, custom Clasio seat cover, leather seat covers in here. It came with cloth. These are the, the seat covers. Um, has the perforated leather in the middle, and then I'll also install this uh, seat heaters Be because these covers slip right over the cloth seats. So you can put a seat heater element in here and just wire it up. You got seat heaters automatically. So let me. I'm going to show you on the other side how, how and where I cut, give you an idea. Okay, so the only place I had to actually cut is in the front wheel well here. A piece of the plastic liner I had to cut. Okay, if you see here, this plastic wheel well liner goes usually down to like right here and then it comes back into here. So what I did is I just took a razor blade and just notched it up to here and then just cut it straight across. So it, so it basically kind of opened this area up and then what I did is I took a okay so this is my angle grinder with a metal cutoff disc and so what I did is normally there's some metal right here if you can see you see how it's kind of notched back in there normally the metal comes out to right here okay so there's about that much metal sticking out so what I did with this all right this is just a Harbor Freight on nine dollar grinder with a metal cutoff disc cheap and effective and so I just took it into here and just cut it off and then I just kind of cut it back to there that's it so it really opened this up here you see this is a full this is a full lock here and I could there's easily an inch of clearance between the front
And let me show you what I did. Let me show you what I also did to the front here. You probably can't see, but what I did is I took this uh, heat gun and I heated up just this front plastic part here. And then what I did is I just kind of tucked it under. So that way that, that if, if the wheel is to ever rub on this, it wouldn't catch and flip it back. So that way it's kind of tucked under. So that's the only modification I did. It does have the Rough Country 2 inch level kit on it. Let me show you how it's clearing over here. Okay, so this is on the other side. This is with the wheel turned this way. And this is it clearing right past the, you can see where it's notched out right here, the tires right here. So let, me, let me move it a little here. Okay, this is, this is the wheel at about, turned probably about 30%. You can see here, Okay, it's, I mean, it clears, it clears right here. It's tight fit, but it clears. Uh, I've driven it about 200 miles now, and no rubbing at all. None that I can hear. It may rub a little bit on this front here, but again, if you just heat this up with a heat gun and then just tuck it under so there's not a, a straight edge sticking down, but it's tucked under, it'll allow the wheel to, if it does, rub against there and not not flip that back, not make any noise. So I'm, I'm extremely happy with how these look, how these are working. Nothing, the, the back, you, you don't need to do anything in the back to fit this tire. Okay, it fits, fits perfectly, no modifications in the back. It's just the back of the, the front wheel wheel that I had to really cut or modify. Yeah, those trail grapplers. Doing some research, I was a little concerned about the, you know, maybe the tread wear, maybe riding a little rough, noise. But I've only driven a couple hundred miles. But the noise really is not that big of an issue at all. They are a little louder than the stock 17-inch wheels that I had, obviously. But they, uh, they look so awesome that I don't even care. I don't even care how they sound. I don't even care how they ride. They look, they look freaking awesome. So, I'm really excited about them. So, just a shot from the back here. You can see they do poke out a little bit with that zero offset, but I think it look, gives it a awesome looking stance. All right, that's my truck. Thanks for looking.